All right, Lycan with Lycan Photography back yet again. This is actually my second video today. Um, this one is going to be about how I go about doing my hail, both both ends, for my cosplay of a dwarf. Um, I do braids. So things you will need. You're going to need a brush. I I believe that's a blush. Don't. I'm not hip on terminology and shit to get tangles out and everything. I find blushes work better than combs for that. But you will also need a comb to do help put your hair if you're wanting it to be super straight and lined up. Um, for the build hair. You need a bull's hill bristle brush. Uh, that's got a lot of gray hair on it. Wow. All right. Uh, if you have a beard, I highly suggest a bull's hill brush. It moves your natural oil from the base of the roots all the way down to the tips. That oil helps keep your beard soft. Uh, so the first thing you need to do, if you're like me, you already have a blade in, you need to take that blade out. And as you're going down, I suggest running the brush through it, getting the individual tangles out that you might have, might not, depending on how long you've had your blade in. This blade's only been in a couple hours, actually. So I will be doing what is called a Dutch blade. Uh, most people have never heard of a Dutch blade. Uh, if you watch the TV show Vikings, Ragnar Lothbrok has a scalp Dutch blade in like season one and two. After that, his, I mean, they didn't, they took the Vikings actually took care of their appearances and hill more than people realize. However, if you look at his hill, it's actually kind of dreaded. So, uh, the Dutch blade is a French blade backwards. So, when you French blade, you go over the top. A Dutch blade, you go underneath. So... Uh, one more terminology, that term that I'm going to use is scalp section. The scalp section is just what's on top of your head. Heel. So, it comes down a little bit. But, and it goes back until your head drops down. A um, good way to think about that is if you Native Americans scalping somebody, they would take a long right heel and just walk the way back, and it would usually break off back heel. So, the first thing you need to do is section out your heel. Now, I'm going to do three different blades. I'm going to do the scalp, and then I'm going to do two sides. So... Uh, nice thing to have is a nice little case that holds all your accessories. Like little ornaments for Christmas time. So, for the, and I highly suggest doing the scalp section first. Now, this is when you take the comb. You might actually have to go in the bathroom and look at this. 
Uh, yeah. I will be right back. I'm going to have to go actually look at this. <laughs> okay. I don't usually try to do it this well, but because I am... I actually had to look at myself in the mirror. That's a rather skilly thing. So, you will notice that I have a line going right through. And a line on this side doing the same thing. If you don't care about what this line looks like, that's fine. But if you're trying to get it really good, just play with it a little bit like this. And you'll bring a little bit of this hill down, making the line straight. Now I'm gathering up more in the back. Right there. Now if you want this done perfectly, if you want all your lines perfectly straight, and all of that, have somebody else do it. That is the single easiest way to do this, is have someone else do it. So if your car is playing and you have friends in the room, have one of them learn how to do it. Offer to do something for them. Put a hill tie in it so that it keeps it together. And then, I'm going to do flip it up and down so you can get to the back easy one. And bring it together. And split it. I'm going to split it in half because that's how I'm going to do my hill today. And then put level bands into those. Now, you can do different amounts of hill, and that is fine. There are times that I will do something similar to this, but I will leave hill in the back, very back, and braid that separately, so I will have the scalp and then three blades on the back. Alright, so this is when you need to decide if you want to do the scalp first or one of the two sides. I recommend doing the scalp. I find it to be slightly easier, so that's how I'm going to do it. Um, and we will just start doing it. So you take the hill tie out. And you can take, you can actually just let it fall now, and it's easy enough to get back. Because all your other hill is tied up. Which is why you tie the hill up. Alright. Let's get those few straggling bits. All right. Then to do the Dutch blade to the front scalp, ouch, you section off your hill It's getting surprisingly hot in this house. I am cooking banana bread, so that's adding heat. So you get to the very front, and 
and you can see if you have the right set of hill because if you look at it if you're missing a piece there's a hole there so you section it out into three because you're doing a braid a three a three strand braid and then you just braid go behind go behind now because it is a Dutch braid, which is similar to the French. You also grab more hill with each pass. Keep it taut. Work out those uh, tangles that happen when you braid your hill. Now, like I was saying, Doing your own hill is difficult. If you have the option, have somebody else do it. Okay, the scalp braid is done. The, the difference between a Dutch braid and a French braid is only how they sit on your head. The Dutch braid, the braid itself, sits on top. Well, the French braids, the hill covers the uh, braid a little bit. Now... I've said it a couple times. If you want this done perfectly, you have to you have to have somebody else do it. Here's why. I missed a strand. Now. Oh, I missed a significant strand. So that's not a big deal though, because I'm now gonna braid heel. But sometimes if you if you're only doing one braid and you miss that little bit. It's really annoying. I do that. I do that a lot. It's really, really annoying. So, have somebody else do your hill. And I braided a hill into it awkwardly. The fuck is that? I think I got mayo on my tripod somehow. I don't know. Alright, so once again take the hill tie out. Run your fingers through it, making sure there's no huge tangles. I don't know how my hill gets so tangled so fast, but it does. So, once again, portion out the hill till you're at the spot where you want to start braiding. Now, this one's a little awkward to do because you gotta be a monkey and do this, but it, it's fun. It looks good. 
Uh, you see this blade on Agatha from Vikings quite a bit. And I guarantee you she has somebody do it for her. I wish I had whole hill people doing my hill. That's a little much. There we go. Once again, it's three pieces. If you can do this with a four strand or a five strand, I applaud you. I can't. The nice thing about having your lines done is it gives you a definite border of where you can grab hill from. Guess I should turn more so you can see better. As we are getting closer to the end of the actual blade, you have 
This one, which goes right there, it's pretty much unraveled to my nipple. And this one, which is still above the nipple. But if you can see this, yeah, I have a thick one, a thin one, and then another thick one. So, they're both pretty much at the nipple. Now they're at the nipple. So, that part's done. Um, depending on your hill, Sam, you can either put. Whoa. Hey, how, how far in can I go? Oh. Focus, come on. No. All right. Close up. Uh, you can either put ties in them or you don't have to. I don't have to, but I do because I try to keep my blades in for a few days. So. All right. And now, ties and beads. You have a few types of ties. You've got these elastic kind of fabric ones. They're pretty good, but they don't work if you're using beads. So, um, first off, you gotta find your beads. Yeah, look at that. No. Stop focusing on me. There we go. His eyeballs glow in the dark. Uh, so I will put him, I'm actually gonna put him in my beard. Uh, okay. This one does not go in the dark. So, what you you have a few ways to do this, and it's really up to you. You have the dental floss method or the hill tie method. Dental uh, dental floss is where you wrap dental floss around the hill. Leave uh, all the way, like I would have to do that much hill. And then you uh, pull it through this. Now, the hill tie method is similar, but there's no wrapping. So I'm going to use one of these clear plastic, uh, plastic ones, the pieces of junk. And I wish I hadn't bought them, but oh well. You take it, you put it through the head, through the bead, and then the top half you put around the hill. Then you just move the hill till you get to a point that you can pull it through the head. And what just happened happens a lot. So what I'm going to do is re-blade it. And, that, and that's what I meant by you can actually not blade enough of your hill. So, let's try this again. Whoa. So, I don't know if that did that to you guys or not. I will have to wait until I edit this to see. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, so, bubble band over the hill, through the head, and you just pull. 
at this point you just push it up until it doesn't fall because I'm actually going to put mobile beads on it as well um, if if this is the only bead you're putting in you would then put a level band above it loop it around twice and then loop it halfway so that it stops underneath the head, under the jaw, and then loop it just downhill until so it holds it in place. I will show you how to do that with a different bead. Uh, we'll do this bead. Uh, important thing is beads do have different holes. Size holes. So, that does affect a few things every now and then. Uh, same thing, you put the rubber band through it, take the top half, go through the, onto the hill, and pull. Like this, well, okay, well maybe, you know what? I'm just going to show you because I don't know if I'm going to actually get another piece of bead on though. So, you take the rubber band, put it around the top a few times, then you go under the, under the skull and do the same. That will hold the bead though until the rubber band breaks because these are technically one time use bands I try to use them more than once but it doesn't always happen so if you look now this one is braided more than this one so if you look you have braid there braid there and then one do. And you just go along until it's almost same at the same place. Alright. And actually I'm gonna bite it more so that I can get the bead on it easier. Ah, I'm back. Never feel the face is back. Look outside. No, don't focus on me. Focus outside. Ah, can I focus outside? I can focus outside, but it doesn't do anything. All right, I'm back. I'm, hopefully I'm still in focus. Alright, so, find the same, same bead, that's not the same one. That's a glow in the dark one, that makes this one not. Alright, so, rubber band, through the head. and through the hill. I'm trying to find a way so you guys can see this. There we go. Now, you want it at the same height as the other bead. There we go. And then put the rubber band on. Now if you want to put other beads on at a lower position on the hill, what you can do is now braid this part of the hill that's below the bead and not braided, you can braid that and have nice little blades there too. Alright, um, do the scalp, scalp hill.
we're gonna go with a silver head. There we go. And it's just the same thing. Now this hill is significantly thinner than the other two that I just did. So I will be able to get more than one bead on them. Boom. Take him up so he doesn't fall. And then we'll go with this one. Doesn't tell me what time it is. That was more difficult to get in than it should have been. Alright, once again, just... And then when, when you have two beads on it, you only need to tie off one of them. And it's the one that's on bottom. And then... When it's a bead like this, it's slightly more difficult to do that little trick, but you can. Alright, so those are those two. Uh, that leads this. You can put beads in it without braiding it. I prefer to braid it. That's just me. So, once again, make sure you don't have tangles or anything. I actually need to go get mine trimmed. But that's okay. Oh, listen to my tummy. Alright, well, you can pretty much see where I braid mine, because it's not clay right there. So, just right there. Figure out what hill you want in, what hill you don't. Uh, you can do one braid or two. I can fit two in. So once again, you section it off. Put a hill tie in. And then just play it. Um, I don't have any fancy blades for my build, unfortunately. I do suggest, uh, I lost my train of thought. If you accidentally drop it like I just did, just stop. That's fine. Uh, with the build blade, I do put a small hill tie in. I buy my hill ties at Joann's or Michael's. They all craft stores. Joann's is more fabric related, 
but it, they still have stuff though. Um, you can also get them at Target. I do suggest the black ones over the clear ones for whatever reason the black ones seem to last longer. <laughs> hi ho, hi ho, off to anime we go. Hi ho, hi ho, off to anime we go. I am really late though, because I had to do this. Yeah. Oh, can, can you follow the bouncing head? Follow the bouncing head. Alright, almost done. And once again, you do want to try and get them to the similar lengths. And really similar positions on the face. So I need to redo this one. I don't know what I did to that one, but it's way off. Location, 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 location. I will probably edit out most of this talking. When you get close to the end of the tie, you need to you definitely use two fingers and spread your fingers so you can oh, hold on. That's actually not too bad. Alright, well once again, beads, I will be using you. You will glow in the dark tonight at the wave. Waves probably tomorrow, but that don't matter. Uh, all of the skull beads were from Grim Frost, which, if you've watched many of my videos, you know, uh, or a good company from Sweden, I believe, who make hand forged authentic. Uh, Viking stuff, which is kind of a misnomer, but that's okay. So, you want to get your ties in good and tight. You don't want them falling off in the middle of the day when it's hot and sweaty and lose a bead. That's really annoying. Ah, uh, come on, face forward. There we go. All right, get the other one. Also glow in the dark. Uh, they do come with different size ties. I don't really worry about the size of the tie. too much. I do try to use the smaller ones for the build though. Uh, for the build I suggest gripping just below the head going above it like that. In fact you do actually have to go below the head so the beat does not fall off. I am really hungry. That banana bread smells really good too. So. There we go. Alright. So. This has been my tutorial on how to braid your build. That one's off a little bit, but that's okay. And then how to do Dutch blades for your head hip. Uh, once again, if you like my videos, hill tutorials, cooking, 
uh, the behind the scenes videos of my photo shoots. F subscribe on uh, YouTube. Thumbs up. Comment on YouTube. Follow me on Facebook. If you're feeling generous, you can pledge to my Patreon, which will be like you. Uh, please, every little bit helps. One dollar is fine. Just feed me a little bit. Uh, have a good day. I am now going to head to NakaCon. I need to finish getting dressed, but you don't want to see my booty, do you? No, no.